Uh, what's your opinion on running a radio off of a cigarette lighter plug? My plug is rated 10 amps for the radio, and I want to draw much less. I've heard it can bad, or that RF can back feed into the car. Um, not so much. I don't think so much RF is going to back feed into the, into the vehicle. Um, the problems I see with the cigarette lighter is the power draw, the consumption. Because, yeah, like you said, they're rated for about 10 amps. And if you've ever pulled your dashboard or pulled those one of those accessory or cigarette lighters out, they are fed with the tiniest of wires. And yeah, I it's don't... like 16 wire, which, yeah, mm -hmm. it'll hold 10 amps for a little bit, but not yeah. long. Uh, but and the now... bigger issue is, so it's a good way to kill your battery, right? Mm -hmm. So you either run it with the car off, in which case, you know, either your car will shut off and it'll shut the accessories off after a certain amount of time. Yep. Um, or it'll kill your battery. Or you do it with the car running, in which case you have a lot more noise to deal with. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, you're limited to about 50. I've, I, man, when I when I, I used to run a mobile radio in the wife's car with a cigarette lighter because I, I didn't have a... Um, uh, you know, I didn't run the cable through, you know, under through the firewall yet. But uh, yeah, um, 10 amps, 50 watts transmit power is is probably going to be about the limit for that. Right. I don't know if, if if new I don't know if new vehicles are more sensitive to RF than the older ones are. I've I've not I haven't really experienced that. So no, I don't think necessarily. The big issue is like, you know, the pumps and the ABS and all that other stuff. Yeah. It puts out so much hash. And now you got Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi and the cellular, mm -hmm. right? Um, and everything makes noise. So yep. I, I turned on my truck and then I see like my noise level jump to S7. <laughs> right? It's no fun. Yeah. You know, I've, I've, I've done, yeah, like I said, the accessory plug with um, the VHF FM where noise is much less of an issue, but HF, uh -huh. you know, it's feed it with a battery and then you don't have to, or, or do it the proper way with a, you know, running wire from the firewall. Right. Right. If it's for an actual mobile radio, um, every car has a route, right? Mm -hmm. Like one vehicle, there's a little grommets for, um, my Explorer had a little grommet for the wind uh, windshield wiper sprayer in the back, but it was behind the um, the glove box, and you could sneak some cables through there. On my um, half ton Chevy, I actually come through a boot, and I think it's the boot for. Um, oh no no no! There's the there's a big box under the right by the uh, brake pedal. Yep. And there's cables come through there, and then there's a boot, and I just kind of slip the, through the boot under the big connection box where all the ha wire harnesses come in there, and that's where my power is. That's what I ended up doing with my Outback is I I found the boot with a big, big cable harness, and I just kind of I got the cable in into that boot behind the glove box, and uh -huh. you know, and that, that worked well, but, um, man, I wouldn't want to drill a hole in today's cars. <laughs> no, don't go drill a hole. Look for a boot. Look for something. Yeah. Um, remember, everything comes out. Um, the glove boxes come out. If you get under the dash, some of those panels come off. Um, the uh, You remember my escape, Michael. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Um, that was like the golden one. It actually had a spare grommet. Oh, yeah. Um, really accessible and it took like 30 seconds to get through it it was a piece of cake and then i've seen some that have been just a nightmare to hear about but um there's always something right that's yeah that's like when i had my crown vic i mean there was a hole this big that you could you could oh, push right, because crown Vicks are made for that you know <laughs> they're made to have kind of radios. Like, if you have a Crown Victoria and you don't have a couple radios in it, there's something wrong with you. There's something wrong with you, yeah. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Uh, yeah, we got some comments here. 2020 F-150, horrible to get good at. Yeah, it's uh, fuel pumps is usually the culprit on a lot of modern ve vehicles, especially trucks. Yeah. I can. I, it's funny. I could be sitting in a park. 
with the HF on, and I can hear it. I can hear like a Dodge truck with the Cummins diesel coming from like oh, a half a mile away. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, people are terrible with mo plugs and everything in there. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess it can miss with the you know the BCM if you have electrical work done. Um, so uh, yeah, yeah. It just um, I yeah. if you had like a little twenty watt two meter radio, yep, sure you'd be fine. Uh, but if I you're trying it, to off, it's not going to work. Yeah, like I said, VHF FM, keep the power low so that you're not you're not over overloading the 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 port wiring and you'll be fine. Yeah. So I've yeah. I've done that. I've done that with a lot of vehicles to throw a quick radio in there. So. Yeah. And for what light pole light pole batteries are going for now, if you're doing HF, just go buy a light pole battery. And then you yeah. won't then you won't kill your, your vehicle battery. Well, you shouldn't mm -hmm. kill your vehicle battery. Um but um yeah, that's what I would do. Yeah. Speaking of which, is there a way to nullify the fuel pump noise? Yeah, it's called get an EV. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, not really. I, the, it's uh, brute brute force. Um, they're just they're just um, a lot, you know, uh, ferrites on the pump. But now we're talking, you know, getting to the pump, which is. Dropping well, the gas yeah. tank. Yeah, what do you do? Drop the gas tank, or are you gonna cut a hole in the floorboard under the back seat? Right. <laughs> the choice is yours. Choose wisely. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not a good way. So the other thing you got to do is you got to um, bond everything if you're gonna run HF mobile, mm -hmm. right? You gotta, you have to bond your exhaust, which you would think you don't have to do until you realize that your exhaust pipe is actually insulated from most of the vehicle because you have rubber bushings that, act, that shake so you don't actually have a metal connection until you get up to the motor so that actually adds capacitance yep. to the entire car so you actually have to put little bonding straps towards the rear of the vehicle for your exhaust uh you need to put bonding straps on your deck lid on your hood lid uh there's a lot of things and even still you're going to be chasing that hf or that that noise bunny for a long time Yep. Um, yep. So it's not an easy thing to do, but guys who do it, um, by the time you by the time you figure out all of it, you get it good, then you sell the car, right? <laughs> <laughs> KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.